Ladies and gentlemen, it is your lovely host there. It is Team Rai Rai. And how are you doing on this Wednesday's edition? I am doing very well. Anyway, I do have social media accounts. And don't worry, I will discuss that after this subject. Thank you for understanding. Okay, now sit back, relax, put your feet up, grab something to eat, or grab something to drink, or maybe you want to look at one, and hear my thoughts, my opinions on this subject. So, all that good stuff. So, all the information will be down below for this subject. Let's get into this discussion. Now, Brock Lesnar <clears throat> is off TV because that's part of his storyline. They suspend him. And we all know it was a storyline. We're not going to see Brock Lesnar until maybe the 1st of 2022. They're just my guess. Now, the question is, they could come up with a different storyline to take off Brock Lesnar. They could A... Fire him, B, suspend him, or three, come up with a different way to take him off TV. It's always firing or suspending. You ever notice that? Or find them. They always go with the same route with these wrestlers. I don't know why. Okay, WWE did a storyline suspending for Brock Lesnar on TV after his attack on Roman Reigns and on air authority figure Adam Pearce on Friday Night Smackdown. Paul Heyman, Lesnar's former advisor, spoke about the suspending during the appearance on Today W The Bump. Now, you guys can read it. I am not a big fan anymore of when the wrestler to suspend it or fired because we all know that's all part of the storyline what it can come out the different storyline to take them off tv for a while or you know what i'm saying i don't see that oh i forgot to mention well, it could be like a serious injury but it's not an injury it could be they take them off tv just to take them off tv you know that could part could be a real injury, but for some storylines they add that into the mix, you know. I don't know why they have to do that, but that's W for you. I think a lot of wrestling companies do the same format like W does, you know. Now, I know a lot of you are not a fan of Brock Lesnar anymore. I am not a fan of him anymore. Maybe back in O two when he's a full time wrestler, when he gives a crap about the business or maybe he never did he just cared about always about the money maybe i'm wrong maybe i'm right i don't know it just it really irritates me that he never did any like did um like fan access nothing like that when the show's over or when his part is over he flies back home you don't stick around to the show's actually over over so what does he give i guess he don't care, you know, I guess, I don't know if it's part of his contract that he's got to stick around, or he don't have to stick around when it's, when um, when his part is over, you know. Most guys and females, when their segment's over, they stick around until the show's actually over. So I guess Brock Lesnar have a special treatment, or my theory is he just don't give a fine crap about the product. He just cared about the money situation. You know, and probably McMahon gives him tons of money to come back early. You know, at that um, SummerSlam. Do you think eventually he's going to dethrone the Chavo Chief, become champion? I hopefully not. Only if Brock Lesnar full time wrestler. That's a different story. But I don't mind this feud. I guess this feud is going to go on until next year at WrestleMania. So, maybe by then, Brock Lesnar will be a champion. Hopefully, I don't want to wait that long for a new champion. 
I want someone to throw in Roman Reigns. Actually, I want someone on the main roster to do it. Like Cesario. He has the opportunity, but WWE says, you know what? You're not worthy to be at Roman Reigns. So, I don't understand WWE. They, they give Cesario a new contract. They, they give him a contract extension after last year WrestleMania. And people are pissed. Why in the hell do you want to resign with this company? They're not going to treat you very well anyway. So he should hopefully win next year's um, Rumble and go on to face, to face the champion. If he chooses, hopefully he'll be a Roman still. But we'll find out what his plans. Everyone out there, have a good one. And I'll see you guys tonight. Later, Gators. All the information will be down below. Oh, I forgot to mention. I Instagram, Twitch. Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, all my social media accounts are about, down below. Even I have my own Facebook page. If you want to be part of the Rob Show, the link will be down below. Double click it, DM me, then you and I can make arrangements. Sorry about the live video, not live video, long video, and hopefully you guys still watch this whole entire video. Now, my hair.